Welcome to a, another uh, Medieval Dynasty episode in uh, our channel, Survival Game Guide. Today we will be answering the question, which villager should you get first in Medieval Dynasty? Uh, villagers are extremely helpful and really a necessity and vital part of the game. They help you get resources passively and, and produce goods for you so that you can earn that money and, uh, you know, just become a super powerful person. Totally. Um, but obviously, uh, first, uh, getting into the game, you know, you just, you just started, you built your house, um, and you're ready to start getting some, some workers under, uh, under your, uh, management. Um, and you're left with a question, you know, which villager is going to impact, uh, you the most, be the most helpful at the very beginning. Uh, and, um, you kind of really have a limited number of choices when you first start off. Uh, if we head to the, the tech tree here. Um, when you're first starting out, you really only have a few of the buildings unlocked at first. Uh, usually you can, you can tend to get to, after building, you know, like a house for yourself and maybe a second house, you really only have um, the resource storage uh, and the woodshed here available. Now this obviously is just for storage, so you, you, that doesn't really matter. But for the woodshed, that is somebody that you could potentially uh, have in your village. They will produce um, logs and... Um, sticks and, and a few other things too, planks I believe as well, um, that you can assign uh, for them. Oh, and of course, the, perhaps perhaps one of the most uh, important reasons is uh, for firewood, uh, which of course you and your, your villagers need to, to keep yourself warm, especially in the winter. Um, so that is obviously option number one. And the second option uh, is to get yourself a, a hunter who will be getting, uh, he can get food for you, meat, uh, but you can also get other things like uh, feathers and, and fur and uh, leather as well, which is uh, great. Um, so that is your second option. Uh, and there's also, uh, depending on, you know, maybe the way that you started your game, maybe you started to craft a lot of stuff. So your production might have been high enough that you unlocked the workshop. Uh, and if you do that, then obviously your option there is to hire somebody to further produce those goods from, you know, raw resources, uh, which is great for... Uh, starting up your trade and, and earning some coin. So those are kind of your three choices. I tend to think that um, the very the very best villager that you should get uh, initially is the hunter. And this is specifically for people who don't plan on hunting themselves. If you if you're going into this game like yeah no I want I want to be the hunter I want to be the one who goes out and gets meat for my villagers. Um, it, it's a little bit difficult once your village grows. You're going to be needing to you know go after some some uh, bigger creatures, uh, it's possible, but you know, it's, it, that's, it, it's a bit difficult, but, um, but if that's your goal, awesome, you know, power to you, you might not want the hunter. You might want to get, uh, the woodworker instead for the woodshed. Uh, but for everybody else, I would highly recommend the hunter. Uh, and really it's just because they will go and get the meat for you. They can get other things for you too, obviously, but it's really just the meat because you're not feeding yourself any longer. You need to, you know, keep whoever are, is in your village fed as well. And uh, they can do that uh, a lot easier than just you on yourself. So now that we have chosen uh, the hunter, you might ask, okay, I want to get the hunter, but how do I do that? Um, and to start off, you're going to need to get enough uh, tech points in the survival technology little tree here. Um, as you can see, to unlock the hunting lodge, the very first uh, tier here, you need 50 tech points. Um, and you get those points by hunting uh, yourself. So you can just, uh, you know, when you first start off in the game, you can head off into the woods, kill a few rabbits or, or you know, whatever. Uh, and in time, you will get enough points uh, that your hunting lodge will immediately unlock as soon as you hit 50. So huzzah, you have, you know, you've reached the 50, it's unlocked, now you gotta build it, right? And uh, to build it, uh, you guys are going to obviously find a little spot. I have it right here. This is the Hunter's Lodge. To build this, I needed uh, eight stones for the foundation. And then I needed to get uh, eight logs for the, the framing here. And then when it came to actually building the actual building, um, I and you uh, will need um, 12 logs, 66 sticks, and 32 straw for the roof. So once you get all that, you, you know, you hammer it in with your wood hammer, boom, it appears. There's your hunter's lodge. Lovely. It looks great. With it unlocked, um, if you go back to your uh, little tech tree here by pressing the T as in turtle, I guess. We'll go with that. 
uh, key, you can bring up your, your technology tree here. Uh, you can see that you have a few schemes uh, available that you can buy if you have coin for it. Um, you know, just this uh, tier one hunting lodge, you get things like the stone spear, the bow, stone arrows, the bird trap, the wooden campfire, and the badger fur rug, which is a lovely little decoration. Um, so, you know, if you're, uh, if you're someone who wants to be a hunter, you know, it might still be worth it to, uh, at the very least, try and build your hunting lodge so that you can make a bow, because bows are uh, a lot easier, I think, anyway, than, you know, running around with a spear or uh, an axe, even. <laughs> um, but once you have it, uh, you can enter in here, and right here, this bench here, is where you will craft your items, uh, as long as you, you know, you have it unlocked and you have the stuff on you. So that's great. Okay, so you bought you you uh, you unlocked your 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 hunter's lodge. You've built it. Now it's time to find a hunter. Which to me, honestly, one of the hardest parts of this game is just finding the villager that you specifically want. Um, to do that, you are going to need to run your little feet uh, anywhere to any of these villages. I usually start off in Gostovia, um, and you will see uh, villagers who have a little. Uh, person symbol uh, uh, above them and they are recruitable villagers you can speak to them um, and find out specifically what their particular skills are and you're looking for somebody who says uh, they like to you know the, the thrill of the hunt you know excites them or they love chasing prey or or tracking animals whatever it is they'll say something like that once you find someone who says that, that's your person. Come on in and, you know, invite them to your village. Um, it's also, I will say, just worth mentioning uh, to just, just to see what they don't like doing because sometimes it's, it's useful to um, have a, a person that you can kind of move uh, between the, the different um, uh, buildings and, and um, uh, jobs uh, in case, you know, you, you find yourself with a sudden opening and you need that, you need somebody to temporarily fill it. Um, so it's worth just to, to see that just for, you know, future goals and, as well. And I will mention also, when you're out there hunting your villager down, uh, for a hunter, funny enough, um, you might want to stick uh, with a male hunter just to begin with. Um, and that's just because the female hunters, uh, and this is for, well, really all the females in the game, um, when they become pregnant and they give birth, not when they're pregnant, but when they give birth, they will be uh, unable to work in their profession for two years, um, which, uh, if your only hunter is a female and, you know, she, uh, finds love and has a lovely baby, uh, your village is suddenly without their primary, you know, meat gatherer, hunter, um, which is not always great. So, uh, I would just recommend just to, just to get a male hunter at first. You can always bring in another female hunter, uh, later, but just as long as you have, uh, a, a, an individual who's going to be there, you know, the whole time collecting meat for your village, you know, you're good to go. Awesome. Um, so, uh, let's say you, you found your villager. I, I had to, I had to run to quite a few villages before I finally found mine. And funny enough, he didn't even really say that he liked the uh, parade. He just said that he liked doing everything. So I was like, okay, man, you're the one for me. So this is our, our hunter here. Um, depending on where you put your hunting lodge, your hunter might be chilling in here. He may look like he's not doing anything like my friend here. But he is technically uh, hunting. If you put your hunter's village, your hunter's village, wow, your hunter's lodge out there in the woods uh, where there are actual animals, you will actually see your hunter out there, you know, shooting a bow uh, at them, which is a little bit more exciting, but I just really didn't feel like running back and forth the whole time with this guy, so I just put it here. Um, but they are they are hunting. I promise they're out there getting, getting food. They're not in here just chilling. Um, but you do need to do a little bit of setup to get them started. Uh, and to do that, once you have your, your villager, you've invited them to the village, you have a home for them, which, as I should, I should mention, just for all NPCs, before you invite someone to your village, you should already have a house available for them that you can just quickly assign them to. Otherwise, they will get very, very sad, and they will leave your village, which is just a waste of time for everybody. Um, and so just make sure, uh, as well, that you have water in there and food in there. Um, if you don't have your uh, food storage or your resource uh, barn up yet, um, just make sure you have that inside their house so that they are happy and, and not going to leave you. <laughs> um, uh, but once you do that and you have your villager, uh, it's time to assign him uh, to the hunting task. So to do that, you will press uh, N as in nose to bring up your management menu. 
And here's our friend, me, Miss Dwin, Mr. Mace Dwin, something like that. Uh, as you can see, he's like, I'm great at everything. Um, so you just click on his name, double click it, and uh, you can assign his house here. You can assign the hunting lodge here. Um, and he is, he's there and he's happy and he's hunting. Awesome. But, um, he's not going to do anything at this stage. This is just us uh, getting him into that hunter's lodge, uh, and telling him what his job is. Now we have to, uh, basically tell him what we want him to do in there. So, uh, we'll click on this little house symbol. We'll go to hunting, hunting lodge, double click that, and it'll bring up this little menu here. And here he is. Look, he's doing stuff. And it will also tell you, uh, very helpfully, uh, what tool he needs in order to do his job, and that is a knife. Uh, your hunter will not go and get meat or anything like that until there is a knife either in the hunter's lodge or in uh, the resource storage. Um, and any knife will do, even a simple stone knife, which is great. Um, so once you put the little knife in there, he's ready to go do that. If you click this little icon here, this is where you can tell them, you know, what specifically you want him to, to go and get. Um, you can, you know, boost it as much as you want or as little as you want. You know, if you, if you're like, okay, we're good on meat. I want some leather now. You can always just click that and decrease how much they're getting and then boost your leather, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, which is awesome. You know, I tend to do half and half, but I'm, I'm a little, uh, eager for, for some meat. So I have him just, you know, go into town on that, but you know, you can, you can use this as, as change this as you need and you can do it, you know, change it however you want, whenever you want. Uh, and the more villagers that you that you have uh, assigned to a job, like if I had two hunters here, for example, uh, they could technically gather more because there's two of them, but the uh, durability of that knife here will go down a little bit faster too. So if you're just making, if you just have stone knives unlocked, uh, you can expect to, to have to create quite a few because they will kind of eat through them uh, rather quickly. So uh, that's about it for our, our hunter friend here. And, um, you know, which NPC you should, or villager, you should uh, invite to your, your village first. Uh, like I said, there's like quite a few benefits just in the fact that, you know, when he's out there getting meat, that means you don't have to do that yourself. Um, when you have a large village, if you're the only one getting meat, you know, if, you're, if you, all you're hunting down is rabbits, it's going to take you days to, to get the amount of meat that they need. Um, so having a, a hunter just do that for you opens up your time. You can go do other things that you want to do, whether it's, you know, trading or farming or, you know, building more things so that you can get more people in and start setting your little village up. Um, so that's about it. If you have any questions, be sure to, to ask in the comments. Um, and if you have, you know, a different idea, be sure to share that as well, you know, share and share like I say. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Keep surviving. Keep thriving.